Hello, dear friends. So glad to have you back uh, here visiting with me to hear a bit of my writing. And if you're a first time viewer, uh, hey, thanks for uh, taking the time to give me a chance to entertain you or inform you a bit. Maybe spread a little hope. And that what we all need these days, some more faith and reality, a little more stability, a little more um, civility for that matter. It's getting kind of rough out there. But, you know, in times of great change, there's also times of conflict but don't worry that's what I say exist in a state of positiveness and compassion you gotta accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative all that kind of stuff you know make lemonades out of lemon and other cliches so I'll get on to reading uh, my little bit of poetry. <clears throat> well, this is a bit of poetry with also a, a little bit of political adv advocacy infused into it. This is called The Establishment Done Drop the Ball. What lack of clarity. So many lost among lies. The truth is universal. This reality has established standards. With new realities and ways of being, albeit realities change subtly, not all at once, but with new ways of being, many are slowly but surely being thrown into confusion. As their established points of view betray their hearts and harm their well-being, and very soon, it will be hurting their pocketbooks as well. The goddamn Republicans are going to try to take our rightfully earned benefits that we paid into and are owed to us. They like to say, oh, it's entitlements, it's entitlements. Well, that's trying to make you believe in your mind that it's like a categorized, demonized word that they've inserted into the propaganda. Of the zeitgeist. Of our lexicon of our culture. It is owed us. We paid into this for taxes. If they try to strip it away from us. They are stealing from us. Okay. We paid into. And are owed us. Like Medicare and Social Security. And retirement programs. And pension funds. They don't follow the Bible. Or any good sense of morals or ethics. They follow Anne Rand and have Gordon Gecko aspirations. The dollar, baby. It's all about that dollar. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. That's what runs this bitch. Cutthroat capitalism. I'm not saying capitalism is not a viable tool that can exist within an economic, you know, socioeconomic uh, society. I'm saying they done went way too goddamn far. It's, it's dollar above all ethics. And that's why we got this fucked up system we got right now. That's why we got Donald Trump as president. Because the people were like, I'd rather have this psycho than another goddamn establishment milk toast fucking lukewarm one foot in heaven but mostly in hell lion ass corporate sellout fucking piece of shit politician so now the progressives are gonna come in and they're gonna clean up everybody's shit mess they left and actually put some sanity into the American government. 
So this cutthroat, cutthroat capitalist, I'll sell my mother's soul for a 2% increase in share prices. Fucking madness. So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like, it's not like the 99.9% .9 of the our country is going to suffer. It's going to, everything's going to get better for us, man. It's these rich corporate cocksuckers at the top that are going to have to break off a bigger piece of their insane hoarding wealth. That's what people don't seem to understand, you know? Like, they don't have millions upon millions, multi-million, you know, half a billion dollars, billions of dollars. They don't have all this fucking money because they want to own 80 Ferraris and 100 Lamborghinis and have houses on, you know, everywhere in the world or whatever. Shit, they got that at like, you know, long, long before half a billion or whatever. It's not about that. How much fucking shit do you need, right? Well, it's that's not what it's about. That's what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks they're super wealthy. Oh, it's all about more and more and more. I want more toys. And all these fucking baby boomers are... They got into their midlife crisis and they abandoned the uh, dream of the hippie, hippie peace. And they all wanted into excess is best and fucking give me a big line of coke. 80s. And their spirit died because they are afraid of their fucking uh, vigorousness of their own vitality and youth is gone. And they mistook that for their spirit. And they got their heads all twisted up with this stupid sick shit. And then capitalism went way too goddamn far. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> and now they've profitized suffering. Human suffering has been profitized. There's no need for 45,000 people a year, or whatever it is a year to die. Because they can't afford to go to the doctor. There has to be something better. Granted, not all the systems are good. It's all about weeding, weeding out the corruption. And then first thing you got to do to weed out the corruption is get the money out of politics. As long as lobbyists are there, the shit will always rise to the top and it'll be the turds that won't flush. It's always going to be grifter fucking sociopathic smarmy pieces of shit like Ted Cruz that'll just come right in there and just Sell their daughters to fucking win an election. By the way, Beto is going to crush his ass. Beto's spirit guide is Robert Kennedy. That's what I think. And. Yeah, that's a prime example. Willie Nelson, God bless him. The heart of Texas. Just like John Britovo said, old Blue Dot in Texas, man. You guys should check his channel out. He rules. He's like the spiritual general of America. <laughs> yeah, things are going to change. And it's not like it's going to be some fucking invasive hostile takeover. All you people out there that are afraid. Oh, socialism, socialism. It's not fucking. All the isms have been demonized. Communism, socialism. We're brainwashed into thinking capitalism is best. You know, it, like a lot of things. Which, there's aspects of each thing that are good and aspects that are bad. Now, there are historical significant hit figures that have done horrible, god-awful, atrocious, evil things in the name of all these isms. Socialism. Hitler claimed to be a socialist. He wasn't. Had nothing to do with it. That was just the same way Trump claims to be a Republican. He's not. They're their own fucked-up evil thing. Claiming a party is false. Or just like Chairman Mao. Claimed he's like the most famous communist figure in the world. But in actuality, he was insane and evil. <laughs> like something like, what was it, like 64 million people died under Mao? I probably may have that number wrong. I haven't looked it up. So yeah, all the isms have been poisoned and used every good idea. Which is not to say they're all completely good ideas. There's bad parts of the ideas and good parts of each idea. <clears throat> but <clears throat> and, and the ideas have been elaborated on and you know whatever but 
All these ideas have been taken up and used for evil, fucked up shit throughout history, including capitalism. The Iraq War. All the fucking wars that are still going on. Evil, fucked up shit in the name of our ism. Capitalism. Those wars are just for profit. So they can profit from all this billing out all the ammunition, the bombs, and all the shit, supplies. And so they can <clears throat> prop up our economy with a huge part of it. Well, you could just easily invest that shit into solar and wind and renewable energies and stuff instead of stupid fucking coal mines. But you... Anyway, I'm starting to lose my thread. I guess that's where I'll end it. So, in closing, I guess I'll just say, as I do, be nice, be patient. If you can help it, try not to snap at people. It's going to be tough. A lot of different energies are butting heads right now. <clears throat> We're vying for the soul of this country. The goodness, mercy, compassion understanding, patience, virtue, God will win. So don't worry. We're good. And it's not going to be some big painful thing. It'll just pass and you'll hardly even notice it. And things will just slowly get better. And then one day you'll wake up and turn around and be like, damn, this is really cool. Things are awesome. Wow, I can't believe things were so shitty. So seems so long ago now, looking back on it. Just have faith, man. Just don't live in fear. Don't live in fear. Don't act in anger. We'll get there. It's literally that simple. Believe it, man. It'll be. Just do it. Do it. See what happens. What's the fucking harm, right? <laughs> can't hurt nothing. <laughs> okay. Take it easy. And as E.T. said, be good. <laughs>